Hey guys, Ashley Scudder with Techno Buffalo here. Let's talk about the Nokia event and the Lumia 1020. Lots of stuff from Nokia at AT&T this morning as the EOS officially became the Nokia Lumia 1020. Now you can dig into the nitty gritty on a spec sheet, but if I were to recap, it's a 4G LTE, 32 gig Windows Phone 8 device with a 4.5 inch 1280 by 768 AMOLED PureView HD Plus display, two gigs of RAM, NFC on board, and a crazy good camera. So let's talk about this camera because really that's what this phone is all about pretty much poised to sit on top of the smartphone camera mountain if it shoots as good as it sounds. Seriously. The camera has a whopping 41 megapixel sensor with Zeiss lenses, a nice large f-stop 2.2 aperture, and second gen optical image stabilization. It'll record in 1080p at 30 frames a second for video, and while photos will take uh, that entire 41 megapixels up, the phone will also make a 5 megapixel version of your shot that's optimized for texting or uploading to social media, emailing, all that stuff. So software-wise, Nokia is upping the ante on manual controls, which is something I appreciate as someone who loves video and photography on my smartphone. So they're giving you the option to manually control flash, focus, ISO, shutter speed, white balancing, and exposure while using their pro camera app. So that's not a huge deal to basic smartphone users who just like to point and shoot, but it is a nice feature set for people who like having a little bit more control over the pictures they're taking. They're also going to be launching Nokia Photo Masters for the Lumia 1020 at first, but hopefully they'll roll this out farther to other Lumia devices. And it's an online kind of class that will help you become a better photographer uh, via tips, tricks, and other content. So that'll be really nice for anybody who's a budding photographer but would like to know how to make their pictures better. And it's a little bit of a bummer that the Lumia 1020 doesn't have expandable storage, especially with that 41 megapixel camera, but Nokia and AT&T are trying to mitigate that with their AT&T cloud storage locker service. So if you pick up the Lumia 1020, you'll grab 50 gigs of storage for free, which will be really helpful when you need to store those huge full res photos. And as for accessories, Nokia is including a leather wrist strap with the phone, and we're guessing that's probably because it's going to be a little bit heavy carrying around all of that camera technology. Plus, you don't want to drop it. I'll get to why in a second. It's the money, it's how much it costs. There's also a wireless charging backplate available for separate purchase and a different $70 Nokia camera grip accessory that has a snap-on grip with some extra battery life a tripod mount, and a dedicated shutter button. So that's nice if you want it to sort of feel like a point-and-shoot camera. And it looks like we're going to see the 1020 here in the States as an AT&T exclusive for $299 subsidized on contract later this month, which I know seems a little bit pricey, especially considering that you can get an HTC One on T-Mobile for $99. But I guess... If you're replacing a point and shoot in that price range and also obviously combining it with a smartphone, it's not really a painful idea or a huge stretch. That's all I'm saying. Now, it'll be available in matte white, black, and what I'm calling, oh my God, my eyes yellow. It's <laughs> so bright. Uh, will we see the 1020 on Verizon or T-Mobile here in the US? Not at this junction or at least until we get variants like Nokia did with the 920. 925 and 928. So maybe at some point we'll see the Lumia 1025 and the 1028 later this year uh, or early next. So international users likely won't have the same carrier exclusivity problems we have here in the States. You guys are lucky jerks. But overall, we are pretty excited about the Lumia 1020. It might be more geared toward the photography enthusiast in all of us, but pictures are kind of a huge part of social media, so it makes sense to carve out this niche with pure view technology from Nokia and give budding photographers the best experience possible on a mobile device. We'll have an unboxing just as soon as we get our hands on that hot little phone. But until then, we are actually dying to know what you think. Are you excited about the camera? Are you disappointed in the price? Do you love the camera grip add-on, all of the above? Do you, do you agree with all these things? Let us know in the comments, and we will see you next time.